All right, so we're going to take a quick look under the deck to see just kind of what it looks like. So there's two bolts back here I'll take off. Four mil Allen. Make this faster. And then there's two under here. So right here, got to be kind of careful with this, but you can kind of get under these rubber things. And then identical bolts up here as well. Yeah, there's basically just another bolt here. So yeah, that's four identical bolts. One mil Allen. Once that's done, let's kind of bring it back here and zoom out. And yeah, thing pops right off lifts right off and then now we see the internals here so essentially we have battery it's definitely in there there are some bolts on the bottom and there's four of them and i'm guessing that i think they're three mil i think they would release the battery I'm not gonna mess with that right now, maybe maybe another time, but yeah, they're probably mounted that way. Because yeah, this isn't budging, which of course makes sense. There's a controller here. And the controller, <coughs> it's hard to see, but it looks like it has some sort of, let me use this for the light, some sort of rubber, gasket all on that side that all the cords come out of. So what do we have? We have one cord going as the power cord for the battery here. <clears throat> we have another cord coming out going to this, this connector here and then that loops it just follows this path over to the rear hub motor. So connecting the controller calling a controller, I don't know what you call it. I'm not an expert in this. I'm just kind of seeing what the high level thing is here. So anyway, this one goes to rear. This one goes to the front. You can actually just see the cable come out here. And this is the cable that's for the front hub motor. And then this cable is the rear mechanical brake. It's basically a, just a steel cable like your like an old school or cheap bicycle sheathed in this protecting cable. This is gonna go up probably to this head unit and the head unit is just gonna spawn out this cable to the throttle, regen brake, and then to the, the 400 lumen light. And then there's a cable that I'm assuming then just goes to the charging port right here. So you can charge it, goes to the controller and connects to the battery. So yeah, I guess this is like the controller charger unit. Somebody who knows more about this could probably use the correct nomenclature, but that's pretty much it. Like it's pretty tightly packed in here. So I don't think you're gonna fit anything larger than this in here. It's like perfectly engineered to fit in this exact size. You see metal, metal, metal here and then just enough room to fit the controller, these cables, and the power cable connecting the battery. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, the water can get in here, but it looks like it's been designed to have some water go in here. This looks like a rubber gasket where these cables go into. That's what I'm assuming. Could be wrong. And uh, yeah. That's kind of the gist. 
so would you write it like this? That might look kind of cool. I'm kidding. But yeah, this thing is going to be easy to get back on. It really is just going to be these four bolts. And the thing slots in there. 